not a Monday. Feels like one. We did a little microphone test here today, so I don't usually care what anyone thinks of my video or audio quality, but not such. Uh, I've struggled with this for years. Anyway, I will say using a phone mm -hmm. for what we do is the quality is good. Yeah, it's better than but, your typical camera. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but man, it's just a pain to set up because mm -hmm. I use the, it's a phone. Like I use it, you know, like I can't leave it set up like this. So um, I, I like the idea of it. Uh, I love I love the quality of it. I'm not surprised to discover that, um, you know, the, the cameras I take pictures with for actual memories is better than the hunk of plastic that comes out of the top of the screen. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this is sustainable. If you can figure out how to wire up your mic, that would be like this is a limitation of the uh, Teams app on iOS because uh, I what I want to do is have my earbuds in so I can hear you without you being in the room mm -hmm. for echo purposes and whatnot. But when I put those in, it turns to the mic and the headset, which is okay. But the, the point of what I wanted to do, the reason I'm just even using this, I wanted to, I have this external mic thing I wanted to test. And here we are. <laughs> it's just another tick that it's like, <clears throat> generally technology fails me all the time, specifically teams pretty much every day. <laughs> right i mean that's just the way it goes how was your weekend <laughs> my weekend was actually pretty good did some grilling did yeah. some griddling on the new yeah yeah, yeah. thing it was delicious what did, you it was... what did you cook on the griddle uh burgers oh, okay. uh steak for some reason when i hear the word griddle i think of breakfast food. yeah we did pancakes we did yeah. hash browns there was some bacon yeah there was a lot of uh, we did veggies what else did we do i think that was really about it yeah, nice. How about yourself? Yeah, we did a little bit of this as well. Um, my, it's not worth discussing, but my brother-in-law, for some reason, in, in sharp contrast to every man I know, has gone with a smaller grill. Hmm. And it, it's, it folds down and you can take it with him. So when they do, do like tailgating stuff, he can actually bring that grill with him. Mm -hmm. I think the typical American approach would be to have a gigantic grill at home. Mm -hmm. and then that grill you just keep in the garage and you bring it when you leave the house you know but I, i'm actually really i was surprised by that so yeah we did our little uh memorial day you know hamburger hot dog thing it was good other things that are good it looks like uh surface laptop go to mouthful is it, is, oh it's laptop go mm -hmm. oh you were, you were thinking it was go to i thought it was i, was, you know, I thought it was go for <laughs> that some sense. alien race is watching us and they're going what are they talking about go to <laughs> go for is that some sort of code name uh, uh, go to. Yeah. yeah yes 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 yeah it looks like that might be coming this week who cares Maybe. we're in june piece of junk without a three by two display core i5 but it's 11th gen so it's not 12th gen yeah yeah it's gonna be all kinds of stupid issues I mean, it's, um, the, it's the low end, so. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, what do you expect? If, if a device costs a certain amount of money, you can only go so far with it. I mean, mm -hmm. I question the value of putting the Surface brand on something that inexpensive and cheap and so unlike every other Surface device. I mean, I think Go, the Go 3, where we're at now with that line, you can make an argument for that. It's fine. It's the same form, form back, et cetera. But the laptop, I, like, I, I guess I sort of get it, but... I I don't think Microsoft would be playing in that market. Hmm. Well, it's common. Probably for the education yeah. segment would be my guess. I mean, that's I don't, it's great for my kid. Nobody else. Yeah, right, right, right. Even her, though, you know, she's used an iPad. She, even at her age, uh, she would be dis discerning enough to say, like, yeah, this isn't working. So it's yeah. funny you mention that mm -hmm. because she has an iPad and she also mm -hmm. has a... It's the first gen Surface laptop. I had it around here and she found it. She's like, Daddy, can I use it? I'm like, all right, whatever. Yep. She much prefers the laptop to the iPad. Yeah, but that's a real computer. I mean, <laughs> well, I was curious where you're going with that. Yeah. I was like, yeah, laptop would be fine. You know? So she prefers a real computer to an iPad. Yeah. Which is for, for what? For general, whatever. Just for does. browsing the web. Um, she's huge into Harry Potter. So she's like reading about Harry mm -hmm. Potter online. 
Uh, there's also from her class, they had like games online that her teacher, mm -hmm. not built and created, but created like a little portal of like yeah. math games and stuff. Okay. Much prefers to do it on the, on her laptop than an iPad. Well, God bless her. Yeah. She's the outlier. I always knew there was something wrong with my kid and me. And now I can, <laughs> now I can <laughs> document it. You'd be fine. Yep. So, uh, I also have a theory, Paul Theron, as I typically okay. do. Okay, you may remember last week when I was in the office, there was news that came out of a thing called an Xbox Keystone. Oh, by the way, here's how I remember that, because I sat here on whatever day it was waiting for you to show up. And... Yeah, this is true. He did. He messaged me. He's like, <laughs> are we doing I this today? I was like, no, Paul, we're not actually doing this today. He's like, oh, right, you told me that multiple times. Yeah, I... Anyway, yes. Okay, so Keystone, yes. Yes, so the wheel it back a little bit. Microsoft told us that it went this wasn't rumors told us that they were making a device that was going to be able to attach to your tv some capacity and connect yep. directly to xbox uh, cloud gaming then they yep. came out and said um they, they put out a statement that said look we're still committed to doing that but our initial hardware that we were going to do is not the route we're going to take mm -hmm. here's my theory well okay it makes okay. At least this is what I hope. I hope that Microsoft sat down and said, look, we have a, we'll just call it a Chromecast thing. It's not quite that, but yeah. we'll, we'll call yeah. it that. That's we have a Chromecast-like device that's going to plug into these computer or these TVs, and it's going to do cloud gaming. But they look at it, it's like, well, what's the value prop besides that? Like, there's not a really great movies and TV narrative. There's not a great movie or music thing like that. There's not a, you know, it, the, the story sort of falls apart of like, should this, should a consumer buy another dongle? Here's what I think they should do. And this is what I hope they're doing. They yeah. should have reassessed me like, man, who's already got a whole bunch of boxes connected to TVs that's good at making hardware that we can partner with that isn't Apple? They should partner with Roku oh. and let got Roku it. build either build the hardware or build it included. They already have the market. They already have the device. They already have the experience. I think it'd be a better play. All right. So I, I, that's interesting. I didn't consider the entertainment part of it, although... Microsoft has a history of not getting their entertainment under the devices, right? Mm, yeah. So there's never been a solution for getting their videos that you might buy uh, mm -hmm. anywhere. Um, so, yeah, I, I guess you could make an argument it should do everything. Although, I, I, assuming the streaming quality was good enough, which I believe I have, I don't do this every day or even every week, but I've tested from time to time. It's definitely gotten better over time. Mm -hmm. I mean, a simple dongle, which would have to have like an Xbox you know, bit built into it. Yep. That's the uh, roller, sorry, a uh, bit built into it. You know, I think would do the job. Honestly, for this thing to make sense, this app needs to be on every set top box. Yep. There it is. Right. Um, and if you're going to go that route, if you're going to yeah. go that route that we both, I think agree, it needs to be on TVs and needs to be on every, how are they going to build a box unless it's dirt cheap, like 10 bucks or something? Why, why even bother? Right. Right. If, if well, I mean, who who's the human being that is paying for Xbox Game Pass of any kind, or actually mm -hmm. would be Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, right, to get that service? That they are paying for that, but they yeah. don't pay for any other service, you know? Like I, and don't have some device. I mean, unless you have a really, um, what's the market for this thing? In other words, they have a fifty, sixty dollar dongle. It's for people who have a smart TV that's just old enough that. Our app's never going to show up on it, and mm -hmm. uh, something. I, I don't. Who are those people? Maybe there's just no market for it. You know. I I don't disagree. I, I mean, to your point, fifty sixty bucks is not cheap for what this thing would be. And if it if there, well, you go to Walmart and you see this thing sitting there and you sit next to a Roku and it's like. <sighs> I don't know. Look, I don't know what most people do, but I know that in my own experience, my wife is a smart smart as smarter than I am, according to many people. Mm -hmm. Um is not a big fan of the HDMI input thing on the on the TV. She doesn't yeah. want to think about it and, yeah, and yeah. doesn't and, and is confused when the TV comes on and it's not right on the right thing, right? So I think that's a blocker for a lot of people. So yet another de device chained off of a TV, mm -hmm. maybe not the best approach for, for most. I mean, I would say for almost, you know, for most people. And then we, but we all have stuff. We all have something, you know. I, right now we happen to use an Apple TV, but we've used... The Google TV, uh, Roku, and we've used the Amazon Fire TV, whatever, over time. It just needs to be on that stuff. And then you start supporting the modern smart TVs, uh, the latest generations of like Samsung, LG, whatever. Um, I think that covers it. You know, yeah. at some point, you have a you have an Xbox. It's 
not that expensive. And if you're really into Xbox, you're probably not just streaming, you know, mm -hmm. and you could use this for both. Uh, get an S, you know. I, I know there's all kinds of use cases. People like traveling and blah, 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 whatever. But like seriously, like. Yep. Andy Fress. That's how much he. <laughs> uh, uh, back. I can hear you, but I can't. I... Nope. Now you're uh, back. Well, this will require another job <laughs> of some kind. Anyway. Bad um, quality. Networking. Name a more iconic duo. Teams. Oh, well, now I've got a phone call that I've got to take. So we'll wrap it up there. All right. <laughs> Later. Good talk. <laughs>